Grow Mahagut Kian Corley. We have this see week seen one of the greatest U-turns by a government in the history of the state. People power has effectively stopped you in your tracks. It shows people power does work. Even though you have turned a deaf ear to the real message, people are sending out that water charges should be confined to the dustbin of history and possibly this government with it. It still has not occurred to you that people will not pay twice for something which is a basic human right. Hundreds of thousands of people have marched and tens of thousands will join them in the coming months until this tax is removed from the agenda. In your proposals, we now have the, a ludicrous proposal where a single person would pay 60 euros on a yearly basis with potentially 100 euros as a supposed conservation grant until 2018. While a couple, 160 euros, less potentially that 100 euro grant. This means couples, senior citizens, who are living week to week will be paying more than double a single person, 40 euros extra. It doesn't make sense. Where is the fairness in that? There is no ability to pay considered in this model. There is no logic. There is certainly no attempt to really encourage conservation at all. People who are on rental supplement, who are struggling to keep their homes due to the government's caps and cuts and the rises in rent caused by government's failure to build homes, will find their landlord can now take their bills from their deposit. Does the minister not see how dangerous that is? These families cannot afford to live in any comfort and fear the loss of their homes. And if they do, they are in a very difficult place in terms of finding new accommodation. Now the Minister will put in place legislation to take the lifeline of their deposit off them. Are you mad or have you lost the whole plot? This policy will actively increase homelessness. The idea of putting deposits on the table to pay water charges is an attack on tenants but also landlords who do not want to engage in tax collecting. The Irish Property Owners Association have said it will not do the work of Irish water. Have they even been consulted? You see, security deposits are not for paying these bills. They are for damage to a dwelling which is beyond ordinary wear and tear. Landlords want that money to pay for any such damage. They do not want to have to take part of that out of this important fund to pay water charges, and that is reasonable. Tenants need that money because it is essential in helping them in any move from one home to another. One of the major issues bodies like Threshold deal with is disputes over deposits. If a tenant is seeking to move to another home, they need to pay a deposit on that, and this is very costly. If they expect to have their whole deposit returned and, 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 as they have taken care of their rent at home, they will be planning to use it to keep the wolf from the door during those financially difficult first weeks of a move. Equally, a landlord who needs to repair a dwelling rightfully will want to use that deposit which is now supposed to pay for water charges. This is going to be a huge mess for the government. It is an arrogant, spiteful and foolish scare tactic that will fail. The government now also want to try the same tactic with local authorities for their tenants. This pol policy is an attack on the most vulnerable tenants in the country, those on rent supplement, many unemployed, elderly, people with disabilities and small children who have been hit hard over the lifetime of this government, people who the Minister for Social Protection has visited quite a bit of terror on over the last three years, a lot more than was visited upon her in recent times. If these tenants end up homeless due to this policy, and some will, they will face the possibility of having to stay in hostels, hotels, separated from their families, their life and their work even. They will have to travel across the towns and cities of our country to deliver their children to schools, waiting around for them to let them out with nowhere to go until they can return to the often insecure lodgings and lock the door behind them, stuck in a small room with no kitchen, no comfort and no hope. 
On the 10th of December, the people will show you what they think of your attempt of appeasement and bribery. They will not be fooled. Their message remains the same and will do so until you truly hear it. Thank no you. water charges and no privatisation. Thank you, Deputy.